Every year, on August the 6th, Romania remembers gratefully the Romanian soldiers' heroism in the First World War, who built here, through sacrifice, the glorious way of the Romanian army. It was here that they called no trespassing here, and nobody passed. The Sauvage Mausoleum, resembling the walls of a stronghold, has two cannons that had been used during the war, placed on both sides. The edifice stands out stately on the mountainous background, and it became, in time, an important tourist objective, a place where the Romanians show their gratitude to those who sacrificed to reunify the country. The mausoleum of Mureșește is certainly the most imposing in the country and among the most majestic in Europe, dedicated to the heroes of the First World War. The building work started in 1923 in the presence of Queen Mary and the result was a massive construction of an octagonal irregular shape like a pyramid. The 6th of August ends every year in front of the mausoleum with a parade of the Guard of Honor. The glorious way of the Romanian army in 1917 was one of heroism and sacrifice, and today it's a landmark of a remarkable historical importance. Unofficially considered the first capital of the United Principalities, Fokshan, the city on the Milko, is the town that will remain forever in history under the emblematic glory of the Union Act on January the 24th, 1859. The Union Square in Fokshan is a historical landmark of a remarkable importance. The commemoration ceremonies of the event are grand every year in the Union Square of Fokshane. Tens of thousands of Romanians dancing the Union Reel. The military brass band music and the soldiers' measured step marching with torches gradually vanish in the darkness of the winter night that engulfs silently the town of Foxham. Francia's museum is, in essence, a treasury of proofs that demonstrate the existence and evolution of human communities on the territory of Francia County, and it was arranged following intense researches. The objects and documents exhibited here bear the mark of the passing time and are a vivid testimony of the events that happened in the 19th century, such as the 1848 revolution, the union of the principalities, the war of independence.
The museum recreates a unique atmosphere, mysterious and so real that you wouldn't be surprised if, from behind the counter with bottles and scales, there would appear an old chemist. Built at the beginning of 1900 in order to be a temple of education and cultivation of the soul, the imposing construction of the Municipal Theatre of Fokshane was erected from donations of Major Gheorghe Pastia, politician and landowner in Fokshane. The architectural style of the building was according to the fashion of the time, Art Nouveau. The building emanates solidity, while the cornices and the successive retreating facades make it quite symmetrical, delightful for the sight. The ornamentation is of a high quality, taking over the themes of the ancient theatre. The main characteristic of the building is an almost perfect acoustics, being built like the National Theatres of Berlin and Odessa.